Hello, Teacher Dawn here. It's so good to see you again. We've been talking about plants and trees and leaves. Today, we're going to take a relaxing day. And where I'm going to read you a story about apples, apples everywhere. Apples, apples everywhere. And we're going to learn about apple harvest. And this is written by Robin Newts. So are you ready to get started? Good. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. Here we go. Plants are turning down brown. They're turning brown. Hmm. The air smells fresh. It feels chilly. It's not summer anymore. It's time to pick apples. Do you like apples? Oh, I think they're delicious. Wow! Look at all the apples. At the apple orchard, trees sag with ripe fruit. Welcome to the apple harvest. Yeah. Have you ever been to an apple orchard? You pick lots of apples. Apples come in shades of red, yellow, and green. Apples can be small, as small as a cherry. And those are pretty small. Sometimes those are called crab apples. They can be as big as a grapefruit. Do you know how big a grapefruit is? They're usually about this big. They're so juicy. Wow! That apple is big! It's huge! I got it! See that big apple he's got? That's a pretty big size apple. In the orchard, people are busy picking and packing apples. Fruit ladders help workers to reach apples high in the tree. Look at that. They have to use ladders to get up there to pick up, pick apples way up in the tree. We need a lot of help in the autumn. We could eat some of those apples. Mmm, yummy apples. Don't drop that apple, he says. Don't drop that apple. He's carrying a big basket of apples. Workers put the apples in boxes. It's best to store apples in a cool place. An apple rots quickly if it gets bruised. So if you see an apple that's been bruised, it'll rot pretty quickly. See? And here they're showing you an apple right here, and it's been bruised. Those aren't good apples to eat. Meow. No, we don't want those. Apple worms live inside some apples. Apple worms are really math. Moth caterpillars. The moth caterpillars. Hmm. The caterpillars eat the seeds and fruit. Have you ever eaten a apple and found out that there's a worm in it? Ew! No, we don't like worms in our apples. You see the worm right here? No. What's worse than finding worm in your apple? Finding half a worm. Ugh. Yuck. So if you bite into an apple and you only find a half a, a worm, the other one you might be in your mouth. <laughs> Spit it out. Some apples taste tart. <sighs> People like to use them for baking pies. Have you ever made a pie before? I like making pies. Yeah. Sometimes.
sometimes you have, if you have a tart apple, you put a little brown, sh you put some sugar and some cinnamon in it, make pies with it, really good. I like sour ones. Pucker up. Hmm. Pucker up. <laughs> Sweet, crunchy apples are best for munching. Apples can be used for games, too, like for bobbing apples, just like these kids. They're bobbing for apples. Cider is made from apples, too. Do you like apple cider or apple juice? Oh, it's so good. They're made from apples, too. And they use a machine to get the apple juice out of the apples. Yeah. Make apple cider. Make apple juice. People have harvested apples for thousands of years. It's fun to celebrate the apple harvest with others. Especially when you're with your family. See how they're enjoying the apple harvest? Yeah. Yeah. They make apple pies. Caramel apples are too. Yeah. And we can also make dried apple wreaths. Have you ever made a dried apple? It's where you cut the apples up just like this. Cut it up, cut apples all up. And you lay them out and you let them dry. And then you, you can connect them to a wreath. Yeah. You can sew them on, or you can use some kind of glue that you can put them on with. But you have to dry them out first. Yeah, make an apple wreath. What else can you do with apples? Hmm. How about... What else? Baking apples? Yeah. There's all kinds of things, like... Apple tarts. Um, you could cut out apples and have them as a snack. You can dunk them in peanut butter. All kinds of things you can do with apples, can't you? Well, I hope you enjoyed your story about apples, apples everywhere. Until next time, you have a good night. And don't forget to eat an apple a day to keep the doctor away. Bye-bye.